Hi guys. Okay. Remember this? This cabbage? Okay, we're gonna do the stuffed cabbage. Um, it's probably gonna be a long video, so I might have to do it in two or three parts and bear with me. Okay, so first of all, you have to soften your leaves and remove them from here. So what I do is I cut the cabbage part right here and then I cut out the, the cores down as far as I can go that I think I'm gonna need. So pretty much right now, I think I'm far enough where I have enough uh, of leaves to use. Um, I'm gonna put it in boiling water. It's not for very long. And usually I'll put it in the boiling water and I'll push it down and I let the water get in that the core part that I removed, I let the water try to get in there. And you just want to leave it in there long enough to soften the uh, the leaves a little bit. You don't want to like cook them mushy. See how it's already this one? And then you can also, once they start to get soft and, you know, they start to fall off or you remove them, you can pick and choose which ones you want to use. You can choose, like the outside, they're always going to be bigger, and it's going to depend on how many cabbage rolls you're going to make. And it's kind of a hit and miss. You have to either set it all out and lay them out and whatnot. Anyways, so I'm going to let that boil for a little bit. And while that's boiling for a little bit, um, then I move on to my next step. So here I have one pound of ground beef, an onion, garlic, parsley, and to this I'm going to add one egg. And my filling, I make it almost like I do meatloaf. I use almost the same ingredients I do for meatloaf. I'm going to add just little sprinkles of that. Some salt. regular salt, black pepper, I'm going to add a little bit of oregano, a pinch or two, depending on how much, how much you like oregano. I am going to add a little bit of Italian seasoning, and like I said, I season and I make mine to my liking, to my flavors, and um, it's like a meatloaf for me in a cabbage roll. Worcestershire sauce. Mustard. A little bit of ketchup. I don't measure anything. And about a cup, here we are, the marinara sauce that I use from uh, the seafood. And this is where stretch your meal comes in. So now I got marinara sauce. Oh, about a cup. And I got this fries already in the package and make it ahead of time. So I'm going to take maybe about half a cup to a cup, depending how much you want in there. It's just for me. So I'm going to use about, I was about a little over half a cup. And then I'll save the rest for tomorrow's, tomorrow night's dinner. Okay. See? So now I'm going to take these and I'm going to lay them out. 
That's a big, see how big that is? They're super big. are humongous. It's going to be some humongous cabbage rolls. So there's two, four. I think I'm going to just do six because they're so big. So I can probably get six big ones in there. Let's do six. I'm going to take two more out. Just just in case if I don't use them. That's a lot. These are really big. Okay. At the same time, I'm going to try to remove the rest of the cabbage, and it's heavy because it's got water in it. Okay, I'm gonna remove that from here. There's one more. Because I don't want it to continue cooking, and then I'll use that cabbage tomorrow for whatever I decide to make. I can fried cabbage, cabbage soup, whatever. Just gonna put that to the side. This is a little hot. Okay, and then I'm gonna mix all this with my hands. All this is gonna be done just like you would again a meatloaf. put these down here because of the fat and you can trim these off if you'd like I'm not going to I don't I like it you know I like that there I like the crunchiness of it so I'm not going to but you can and this is where when you're not sure you just lay them all out and then you're gonna take your uh, stuffy mix, and you're gonna divide it between whatever ca uh, cabbage leaves you have. Because these are big, I'm making them big. And this gives you a chance to use the better leaves if you need to. If you don't need to use all of them, then like those two are not as pretty for me. Pretty. Two, four, six. Yeah, see? You could do six. I'm going to do... These are really big. I'm going to do six. Because of the... How big these are. Got a pan. Take some of your marinara sauce. Put it in the bottom. I know. Should add more if you want. Okay. Well, you guys all get the idea, right? Then you take. 
and you roll it. Okay? Can you see that? Can you see? Take that way. Fold. Fold. And roll. Fold. 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 And roll. Okay. Two or more. You see? These are really big. But that's okay. If you get a smaller cabbage, they're going to be smaller and you could get more. And if you want uh, real big ones, these are like probably big enough to be good for one serving each with a side salad or something. The bigger the cabbage, the bigger the leaves are going to be. Just remember that. And your stuffing, just remember, you know what? Meatloaf seasoning. Okay, and marinara sauce on top. A little bit of water. A little bit of water, shake it. Okay. Salt and pepper. And then all I'm going to do, I'm going to cover it. I'm going to put it in a 350 degree oven and I'm going to cook it for about an hour and a half, maybe two since they're big. It's going to depend on, um, it depends on their size. And because they're big, I might do hour and a half, maybe two. But I'll take a picture and let you see the outcome. Okay, bye. Have a good day. See ya.